Hello, and uh, I'm going to show you my Light Wave Wild Trek 70 litre backpack today. I've um, been involved in a few discussions online regarding the uh, the backpacks and what which are good ones and which uh, which other people use. And <clears throat> one of the things I found when I were, when I was looking for a backpack, I couldn't find um, any reviews on the Light Wave stuff. Um, the specs of it are absolutely fantastic. Um, they they seem to be made by a very very reputable company. They've got a, a, a good parent company behind behind who does them, and uh, there didn't seem to be a lot of information or any reviews. And I thought, well, once I'd actually seen one and bought it, um, I, I I thought I, I I best do a do a review because it's uh, such a good pack that I'd like to share. Um, about it. I'm going to put some specs for the, the the backpack on screen now and while we have a look at that while you have a look at that I'll, uh, I'm going to start unpacking the bag so here we've got the, the light wave 70 litre very basic design to this one so um, which is good and the, the, the main thing that appealed to me with this one is that there's not millions of pockets there's not stuff stuck all over it it's just got one primarily it's just got one massive compartment that you fit everything in um, the reason I chose that and how why I think it's so good is that if I'm out camping with kids because this wild camping venture that we're on this year um, Obviously, standard campsites didn't really open last year. We didn't get away. That's why I decided to dip my toe back into wild camping. If they're not having fun, if they're not having a good time, and I need to go open this bad boy up and just ram everything back in. And if I just show you what I brought today, we've got stuff sacks, we all as uh, waterproofs, my little essentials kit for cooking, frying pan, some water, a kneeling mat or seat, chopping board. Another nearly mat see to summit cooks there. First aid kit and waste essentials in my soft fuel bottle. Whisper light, tent poles. I've got me my biggest soul out sleeping bag in there. Tent pegs, Jaron 3, fly and ground sheet, and as you and just absolute acres of space. I've got my OEX peg hammer and uh, waste digger for if we need to do any toilets any inflatable mattress camping towel pillow and that's the main compartment pretty much clear um, so as you can see I've got I have fitted everything in there for for a single wild camp that's that's required um, I've got my oat leaf water bag hung on the outside. It does have one inner pocket, so this is waterproof. And in here I've got my head torch, my pocket knife and my lighter. Just in case, in case I need any of those things while I'm out. It does have one external thing that, this is, I keep stuff in here that's quick. Might need my water filter. I've got gloves, hat, snood, stuff like that in there. And that's a taped seam as well. All, all the seams are taped. So there makes it, I'm not saying completely waterproof, but it certainly helps. You've got a bungee up here to pull, to put on there. You can either put a roll mat. I usually hang my fleece on there. You've got reinforced stitching every, everywhere. And these, I don't know if you can see that, but reinforced, let's just show you that. Reinforced stitching on there. Reinforced stitching on. On that bit, what we've got down here, we've got an under compartment, an under slung compartment with waterproof liner. I've got my schnozzle bag in there, that's got waterproof liner in there. You've got hooks there to hang the tent poles, uh, sorry, your walking poles, or anything you want. You've got a very padded back on it um, and there's an aluminium frame behind there 
which is that helps hold the shape of it We've got this red hook there that we can hang it up onto a tree or um, or if you just lunk in the bag around the house you can pick it up every single thing's adjustable you've got an adjustable strap here adjustable there you can clip I don't bother but you can clip those in there it's adjustable at bottom so down the side of it you've got these straps that again are adjustable with that toggle there they can pull the pack tight you want it, you always want it as tight as you can ideally um, on the back sorry well technically the front but we've got this is spring so it gives you a bit more bit more give you've got this clasps round there so that's your waist belt you've got two little compartments here which I used to keep me my wallet and my keys in they're not very big but you can put stuff in there that are handy access you've got the shoulder strap sorry the chest strap that's here and that's completely adjustable as well it slides up and down there but I'm not really going to move them because they're set to my set to my size these shoulder straps are adjustable at the bottom as well it's as though they've thought of absolutely everything with this bag and uh, I completely love it so that's a, a very quick look at the uh, the Lightwave Wild Trek I mean I'm not here to sell it for Lightwave I just thought I'd review it people who we've been discussing rucksacks online in various groups and uh, that's my take on the Lightwave I know it's not the best video um, <clears throat> I've got kids going crazy a bit further down, so I'm just having to keep a bit of an eye on them. But, yeah, so, I mean, at a price point, it is up near 200 quid mark. I think I, think I we had discount code, and the first time purchase, I think I paid 180 for it, something like that. So, you know, I do appreciate it is, it is quite expensive. It is uh, towards the higher end of the price, price range. 1.5 kilo, though, seems does seem very light it's lighter than some of the oex stuff that i saw um not oex what am i on about osprey some of the osprey bags that got recommended to me i mean i'm not really a gram counter but there's a big difference in a two and a half kilo bag and a one and a half kilo bag um i do think the biggest plus for me with this bag is the massive one one single big compartment i mean I've compared it to a 65 litre bag that I had and it seems to hold a hell of a lot more um, in the main compartment. I don't know if that's because the extra pockets of, of the other one. Um, but as I say, what, what I don't want is I don't want to be camping somewhere. I don't want to be out hiking somewhere. And we've got some gear out. We've got some tackle out. And one of the kids says, you know, either hurts themselves, falls over, decides they want to go home. And I have to mess about putting stuff in little pockets, trying to, or what, what fitted where, what were that. I just want to open a bag. I want a massive, massive cavern, ram everything in, wet or not, get home. Let's deal with it back in, in comfort of, of, of our, of my own house. And that's the, that's the main thing with the light wave that really appeals to me. I love the bag, works for me. Um, and I would, I would recommend if you're in a similar situation to myself taking kids while camping hiking you know the the potential downfalls of that in itself then you know i would really consider some of the lightweight stuff they do a they do a 50 litre they do a 60 litre both on similar ish designs they're not called wild trek 70 but have a look on the uh the lightwave website i'll put a link to the lightwave website in the in the description down below sack so i hope you've enjoyed it only a quick review but yeah take care dudes